know where I'm at, but it's probably not the best area. So what I decided to do is hide the TV in the bush. <laughs> oh, look, I have my badge on. <laughs> I put it on to show the kids and now it's on. <laughs> Oopsie. Also, uh, look at this baby. So I'm surprised this thing fits. Freaking 75 inch Samsung. Yeah. Who knows where it's going? Hopefully I'm not gonna have to hide this one in a bush. V, I just lit it right by a hot tub in the back of the house because thankfully they said they wanted me to put it at the back door, not the front door, because that would've been super weird having this 75 inch just staring at the road of everybody. Like, Next, I'd like to know your thoughts on an email campaign. I'm thinking of trying to like search for people and then email them, kind of like some things about houses, maybe some comps of their area or something. We got my letter written and we have free color prints at work. So I'm just gonna like print it out on the paper there. I'm gonna stick my business card on it with some double-sided like tape or something. Try fold it and stick it indoors. I'm just gonna walk neighborhoods because somebody about to know somebody that needs something done. That's my thought. So what, what's your thought? You think that might work? It is insane how much social media is like a full-time job. Like I'm not seeing a whole lot of agents on any of these apps. Like, I'm really wondering, like, where are all these agents? Because there's a dozen different social media apps, and I'm not even, I'm, I'm seeing the same maybe, like, within 30 to 40 people. So, is this market just completely untapped, the social media market and real estate agents? Because if that's true, this is about to get crazy.